let's go ahead and register on the website. After visiting faa.gov slash UAS slash registration, you can scroll down towards the bottom. You'll see a button that's labeled register now. Note, on this web page, you'll be presented with general information that tells you if you need to register. If you are flying for commercial purposes, go ahead and click register by paper. If you already have an account, you can log in. Otherwise, you can create a new account. Clicking register my drone will prompt you to create an account as well. If you don't have an account already, you'll need to create an account. You must be 13 years old in order to register. Enter your email address, as well as a password, and click Create Account. You'll now need to check the verification email in order to activate your account. Click the link in order to activate your account. You're now informed that you're accessing a government website. Make sure you read over the information about their policies and their privacy policies. When you're ready, click I Agree. You can then log in. Once logged in, create a profile. You'll need to enter your name, and address. When ready, click Proceed to Checkout. They ask you to confirm that you've read the safety guidelines. These are the same ones that we've discussed earlier in our training video. When ready, check the box that you agree to abide by the policies and click Next. You'll now need to enter payment information. When ready, click Next. Review your information. Click the checkbox on the bottom to acknowledge that you are lawfully receiving this certificate to fly and that all the information you provided was accurate. When ready, click Pay. You'll now receive a confirmation number. I recommend that you either screen capture or print this screen for safety. The certificate should also be mailed to you, but you can click right here to print it. There it is. And if I click the Print button, it'll bring up the card, and I could send that to my local printer or save it as a PDF to store on my electronic devices. You'll note in the future, if you click to view your profile, that you'll see your registration number along with the other details here on the screen about your particular craft. This is where you can also update your details if necessary. If I check my email, you'll note that you've likely received two additional emails. The first confirms that you have actually activated your account. The second contains your certificate. This can be printed as well and you have the ability, of course, to click through to download it from the website. Be sure to save a copy of this email and an electronic copy of your certificate for safety. I also recommend making a printout and storing it with your devices. Go ahead and tape it right inside the case and, of course, take your number and mark that on your device. Back on this main screen here, when satisfied, I can click Done you'll see that it loads your profile up if you need to view it or make any additional changes. Since we're all finished, I can click Close.